Uh, Anthony Garcia liked to keep receipts and police found a bunch of them at his parents home in California. Detectives mapped them all out together. They put together his pattern of behavior and then they zeroed in on March 2008. This is the calendar police built showing Anthony Garcia's bank activity in March 2008. Prosecutors want the jury to focus on these dates, March 12th and 13th. On the 12th, Garcia took out $300 cash. On the 13th, he was quiet. Prosecutor Brenda Beadle, was that significant? Detective dug her out, yes. It's the day police found Thomas Hunter and Shirley Sherman dead in a Dundee home. The records would show Garcia back in Louisiana the next day, taking out more cash and going to a strip club and casino. Defense attorney Bob Mata Jr. admitted his client was a frequent visitor, but that frequency was important. Garcia also took out $300 on March 1st and March 24th. Mata, seems like he likes to take out $300. Her out, yes. Mata then turned to Garcia's own calendar book from that same month, showing he had an appointment in California on the day of the Dundee murders. Prosecutors bristled. Beetle to her out. You don't have any receipts showing he visited California on the 13th. Her out. Yes. Mata fired back. No receipts showing he was in Omaha either, correct? Her out. Yes. Well, today, prosecutors put a ballistics expert on the stand to talk about gun parts found at the Brumbach murder scene in 2013, like this magazine, among other broken pieces. The expert compared what he found to a brand new piece of equipment from Smith & Wesson, an SD9. It's the same type of gun Garcia bought months before the Brumbach murders. The expert determined those gun parts match, but defense attorneys claim the pieces could fit other firearms. Julie? All right. Thank you, David. Well, the stream of evidence today takes the jury inside Anthony Garcia's home in Terre Haute, Indiana. Okay, TV News Watch 7's Christina Angle is live with that breakdown. Christina? And Rob, detectives documented every inch of that home inside and out. They found a Ferrari parked in the driveway, but the home's interior, they say, was eerily empty, with the exception of a few personal documents neatly organized on a dining room table inside the living room. Detective Ryan Davis called them documents showing success. Then even more documents inside a trash bag submerged in something that he says had a strong chemical odor in Garcia's sink. Inside that trash bag, a soaked copy of Garcia's appeal denial from Creighton University, along with hundreds of other documents that some Detective Ryan Davis says seemed to, be, seemed to help map out a plan for identity theft. His team was able to save those documents and then submit them into evidence. Davis also says they found a gun box inside Garcia's closet, a Smith & Wesson with a familiar serial number. We'll have more on that tonight at 10. Reporting live at the Douglas County Courthouse, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.